Welcome to Employee Connect. In this video, you will learn how to view, approve, or reject leave requests submitted by your employees. As an approving manager, there are several ways to be able to do so. One is by going through the home page and navigating down to the activity section and clicking on the workflow inbox. This will open a page that will show you all the leave requests that are pending your approval. Within this page, you can select an individual leave request for approval or rejection, or you can do a bulk approval by using the OK button and clicking on the arrow button to approve all of them. If you wish to approve an individual request and click on the check button, this will open a page and show you the details for the leave that was submitted for your approval. You can click on the approve button to approve that or reject it by using the other. You can have a redirect manager here in the list. You can select one. You can also put a comment to inform the submitting employee of the reason why his approval was rejected. For example, the date was incorrect. If you scroll to the bottom of the form, you'll be able to see the leave balances available for the user. This will help you decide if you can approve that or if pass any remaining balances for that request. Always remember to click save to save the changes that you made. Another way to access this page is by going through the top menu near your profile and clicking on the workflow requests button. This will show you the list of the latest workflow requests available for you. Select one from the list and we will open the details page like we see here now. Similar to the previous page, you can do an approval or a rejection of the request here. Basically the same page that we've opened before, just another way to access that. Always remember to click save, save the changes that you made. As an approving manager, you'll be able to see the leave balances of your reporting employees. You can also do a projection of the leave that they'll be accruing for a certain date. You can get an overview on the leave calendar of all of the people reporting for you if they are a leave on a specific week or date. We can access that by going through Manager, Leaves, and then Leave Calendar, all found on the side menu. You might find this helpful for determining if there are any overlaps for the teams that are reporting for you if they're setting out or applying for leaves on the same dates. If you want to view all of the leave requests submitted by your employees, you can click on leave on the side menu, also under the leave menu. This will display all of those for you. You can click on the arrow button to see more of the details of those leaves. You can see the leave balances for every employee reporting under you under leave balances on the side menu. You can also generate a quick report of the projection of the leave that they'll be able to accrue within a specific set of amount of time. To do so, just click on projection again under the side menu under leave. Click on the arrow button and then set the element of which kind of leave you're trying to report on. Select a date. And then click Save to generate the report. In this page, you'll see the results of the accrual projection that was generated by the system for you. It is also possible to submit a leave on behalf of an employee. To do so, click on Leave on the side menu and click on Apply for Leave. You'll be submitting a leave request on behalf of your employee. This is useful, for example, he's been sick for a couple of days and will not be able to submit a leave for himself. So you'll be able to do that for him. To do so, click on the plus button here in the list and then fill up the form with the details. 
div type, start date, the end date, div unit, and leave taken will be calculated for you. You can insert a comment here that you're filing it in his behalf. You can also attach, for example, a medical certificate if the company requires so. And then always make sure to click save to submit the request. And that's how easy it is to view, approve, and reject leave requests in Employee Connect. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We know you're going to enjoy using Employee Connect.